Hey guys, it's TL749. Back with some more Always Sometimes Monsters. So, in the last episode, we went to the bachelor party, found out Sam's missing, we were gambling, and I got enough money to buy a suit. Now, I'm hearing $10,000 a lot, so my intuition and my gut feeling is like something's gonna be with that 10 grand. So I'm gambling to get it. So if I am... How much do I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna win two more games of Blackjack. Wish you meant like, you know, all your money. Alright, well we got Blackjack's my game. Oh, four. Four? So, the way I do this is... The dealer draws one, has one face down. You get two. So whenever I do match Whenever I play Blackjack, I always imagine the dealer's hidden card is a 10. Right. So you got one more flip and then you have to draw. So I always imagine it's a 10. Hit me. Yes! Yes, Blackjack, baby! Excuse me. No more leave. The same. One more game. $999 Queen 7 2, so 9, 10 Hit me! Nineteen. He's saying, oh "Boy, if you get an ace, I swear to God, you mother!" F <laughs> Some bitch. Yeah, so I'm playing. Yes! 
Let's leave. Alright. Um, bang, 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 bang. I don't know. What kind of idiot would carry 10 grand on him? No, ah. Uh, A thousand dollars in my wallet. Um, we have forty two dollars in my wallet. Okay. And now, oh man, we look so fly in the suit. Oh yeah. Um, what now? What now, bro? What up? Um, so I think it's going to be possible to run a car. I need to listen to everybody to get the flight later today. Let me see. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. No, I'm sorry. The pizza on our vehicles are out for a moment. Car Hotel Casino is this. Check back later, I promise when I'm on ready in time for your flight. Bitch. <laughs> I guess we go upstairs. I'm on zero right here, am I? Maybe I should skip the back for now and play a little more. No, we, I've had enough gambling anyway. Slots and blackjack would be some I would gamble on. But I'm my own love. What? What is that? What is it? Thank you to my mom, motherfucker. Get my room, bitch. Tell me when you join. Come on, Tucker. Can't hide from me. Ah, oh, maybe me to the bathroom. Surprise, motherfucker. Tucker. Uh, Sam. What are you doing? You journal something. What is it? My journal? That's what you're in here snooping through my stuff for? What's going on? What the hell's got in you? I want to try to explain I'm a little thing to you, Tucker. Just give me a damn journal. I need it when bad things are gonna happen. What the hell does that mean? You threatening me? Kick your ass. There isn't much time, he's gonna be here soon. There you are. Shit. You didn't think you could hide anywhere in the place with this many security cameras, did you, Sam? Look, I can get it for you. Just give me a little more time. Time's up, I'm afraid. Mr. Parker, I request a private meeting with you in his office immediately. Someone tell me what the hell is going on. 
Who the hell is this guy, Sam? Oh shit! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sam, what the hell do you cast into? Look, just be calm. I want the money more than I want you to be dead. Fucking. Just stay calm and do what he said, alright? Enough talking, we going now. Someone tell me what the hell is going on. Who are you? What do you want? You can call me Mr. Parker. I run this little casino. I'm just staying here in good sense, especially Mr. Tucker. She would be a lot better if someone explained what's happening. It seems as though your friend had a bit of a gambling problem, I'm afraid. Although we encourage KSM, the casino, to enjoy our many games, we always advocate use of moderation. Sam here had the privilege of joining us in the champagne room last night for some high stakes games. I stay games. Unfortunately, it would seem that luck was the hardest side, and there's a rather hefty debt that needs settling. That's why I'm here on gambling debt. How much are we talking about? Go on, Sam. I'll let you tell him. I own ten. Yeah, I I knew the ten had something to do with that. Jesus Christ! I mean, when you're gambling, I mean, why would the dealer let you go that far in? I own them ten thousand dollars. You lost ten thousand dollars playing cards. Yeah, I know already. Thought me rolling some money for the honeymoon. And then one thing led to another. For long I was tumbling down lots of the lost. Just trying to play gaming. You dumbass. You don't gotta wait for me so fast. Jesus Christ, how can you be so irresponsible? Told you, it just happened. These two, they must have win the game or something. Now we don't have the money to cover it. That's why I'm in your room looking for your journal. That's why I need your help. I'll follow. What's my journal got to do with any of this? My contract with Larry. If I hand in a first draft, I get the money I need to come with my desk here. Your journal is about as close as we can get to that given the circumstance. You let me hand that in, claim it's my work. And we get to go home without any problems. Sam, you're... What? You steal my work to pay up your gambling debts? This is insane. What happens to me? That turns my one chance to tell me anything with my career. If I don't have that into Larry, I'll be finished for real. These guys don't get their money, I'll be finished for real. Why are you seeing the fucking round? Alright, man, end the video here, so peace out. Hope we see you all next episode.